Hey guys, so I keep talking about wanting to showcase to you all my shop, my stash, and I believe I got these items from the container store. They're all individual compartments that I just kind of built to be this one organizer. If I can find each individual piece, I will have them all listed down below for you all in the actual organizer department. As for my audio, very quickly, I don't have my mic on, but typically in these videos, it's not necessary. So I hope it does not hinder your enjoyment of this video. So these are all the items that if I am just reaching for a to put some makeup on very, very quickly because I am going to hang out with a friend or, you know, it's just last minute. This is what I'll reach for. I do not put makeup on every day. So by no means are these items gonna be like completely finished within like a month or two. So do kind of hinder your um, interest in that. And then if you care to know when this is actually on my desk, on top of this is actually a blue basket full of items that I've already tested out once and I need to further test out. And so sometimes I will reach for that basket's items instead of these. So these don't get as much love as maybe other YouTubers who are literally doing YouTube as a full-time job, um, seeming as I I have so many other things going on sometimes some weeks some two every two weeks or so I just don't have the time to put makeup on so yeah okay disclaimer out of the way let's get into it and these baskets have no real rhyme or reason it's just kind of what could fit based on what I wanted. So in this particular basket, I have a lot of my base products and some brow products as well. I'm just gonna show them all individually, but I figured I would kind of give you guys an aerial view as well. I have these three foundations in this top drawer because these are three foundations that I find are very easy and quick application methods that give me a surefire medium-ish coverage. That is my preferred amount of coverage for everyday wear and these are really good with giving like a very natural skin-like finish as some of these I don't need to set where some I do um, but regardless these are just really good kind of everyday foundations and I love that they're in a tube if for whatever reason I need to reach into this to create like a makeup bag for on the go these are all items that I could feel confident traveling with without them getting broken. So these are the three foundations that I have. I will do my best to have everything linked down below for you all with all of the um, colors and everything as well. So I will have my shades in these three foundations down below. I have two powders that I keep in. These allow my face to be set when I am doing kind of an everyday face look. The Dior gives a more kind of skin-like radiant look, whereas the Sephora is a little bit more matte. Also, the Sephora is darker once applied than the Dior. Once again, the shades will be down below. The one kind of unique powder that I have that I use very sparingly is this baby right here. This is the NYX High Glass uh, finishing powder and it is truly a finishing powder that gives you a more radiant skin like complexion. I find that this for those who don't like to see kind of a quote unquote shimmery effect this in my opinion if you use it as a true powder to set your base will give you that effect. Whereas if you use it on the cheeks to kind of add some radiance, it just works beautifully. So I use this very sparingly and that's why I put this here. I wanted to kind of get more use out of it. The last powder product that I have in this particular compartment is this baby right here. This is my ColourPop Bits and Pieces bronzer. I've already hit pan in this particular bronzer and this is the second a pan that I've had of this particular shade and this formulation. I just have this up here so that I can get use out of it. This is a bronzer I know very well seeing as I've already completely finished one and I'm now hit pan on the second. So that's that. And then I just have a couple of brow products and a primer in this drawer. So these are my two NYX brow pencils. My brow pencil and the brow pen that I use to do the hair like strokes. And then I have my about face 
base eyeshadow primer. You guys know I love all three of these products. That's why they're in my top drawer. And that's another way that you can really consider this compartment it is really my top drawer of items that I know exactly how the products are going to work and I can get what I want out of them efficiently and effectively so yeah there is that okay now let's go ahead and talk about this top drawer a lot less items that I think are noteworthy but let's just go ahead and go into them so as of right now i actually have two concealers the third concealer is actually the charlotte tilbury one but that i think i used in a recent video that's why it's not in the actual compartment right now this is my sigma one this is in deep i think to dark or something to that effect i like using this when i use my more tinted moisturizer types products that's why because a lot of the foundations that I have look more like a tinted moisturizer. That's why I have that. I have the CoverGirl just in case I want more coverage. I don't really enjoy this concealer, but it's a solid concealer. That's why I have it in there. And then the Charlotte Tilbury is in here just because it's, once again, a concealer I don't really care about. And that's actually one of the products that I wanted to finish before the end of this year. This is a travel or sample size of a mascara from YSL. I don't particularly enjoy this mascara. I'm almost done with it. It's pretty much dried out. Um, um, so I can't wait to kind of chuck it, but as of right now, since it's the one that's open right now that I can think of, I have it in this top drawer. I also have my go-to eyeliner. If you know me, pretty much every time I do my makeup, I have this eyeliner in my waterline and my tightline. This is just from LA Girl, so I always keep this up there. And then on the off chance that I don't really want to do anything with my brows at all, this is the Merit Brow Gel, and it does have colored fibers in there. So this is like an easy kind of very, very quick brow routine. I particularly don't like to use this by itself but in the event that I just don't have the time or I really really want to do a natural makeup look this would be helpful so that's all really that's important on that top drawer and my um, lash applicator which it's really not that important so no need to show it so the next drawer has a lot of my lip products, so let's dive into that. I only have two lip pencils in this drawer because these are the two that like I most likely would reach for. Of course, I have my Makeup Revolution IRL and Americano Brown. I also have my Dominique Cosmetics lip liner. I think this one is in like nudie or something. Like I said, everything will be listed down below for you all. Um, and these are just two really solid brown lip liners the makeup revolution one is definitely darker and better for somebody doing like a darker ombre to a lighter lip color whereas the dominique cosmetics is a little bit lighter than my skin tone so garner your opinions um based on that so for me when it comes to the actual lip colors i have a combination of reasons why these products are in here some of them are new products that i just wanted to get more use out of before i can review them others are products that i've just let sit in my collection a little bit too much I feel and I need to get more use out of them or all of these are just good everyday colors so these are just a couple of the liquid formulations that I have in this drawer and then these are just a couple of the bullet lipsticks that I have in this drawer once again as always everything will be listed down below um, color formula all of that then we have the drawer that I feel like is the most kind of fun which is the real eyeshadow drawer I do want to just put a little disclaimer here that these are not the only eyeshadows that I have very easily accessible I do also have legitimate products in my top drawer um, but these are just the products that I put here so let's just go through these I have three single shadows and I enjoy all of these for different reasons. The first one is the ColourPop single shadow. This is a really really pretty kind of orangey based bronzy shade that I think just works really easily with my skin tone. Easy one shadow look, two shadow look, anything like that. So I really enjoy this. The other two shadows are both from MAC and these give more of like a shimmery glittery finish of, or effect on top of a more metallic finish so like it's not unheard of for me to kind of combine this type of formula with these and have my perfect kind of everyday look I also will tend to throw these in my inner corner and really like the effect as well this is a trio that I got for free with a huge order that I made from the Natasha Denona site I really do enjoy it I think it's great um 
if you had to know this does actually work for me although I would really mainly use the two outer shades not really the middle one unless I'm trying to just blend out something then we have this basic Betty by Too Faced I believe this is like cocoa or something I don't really know it's a nice palette of course it's brownie toned that's what I reach for with a quick easy simple look um, for me this is a very old matte collaboration with Patrick Star um, this is actually a little bit more red burgundy ish toned but it's still in like the neutral family enough for me to feel like comfortable using this very quickly and just for like a very subtle beat so that's why it's in here I then have my Juvia's Place the Chocolates palette I don't love all of the shades in here and especially not all of the formulas but nonetheless I have it so I'm trying to get my use out of it and using it in everyday looks it does work out nicely. The last palette that I actually have is the ABH Soft Glam 2. Of course this is the miniature one. Um, I actually don't really like this palette. I thought I was going to like it a lot more but I just don't like the variety and how these shades pull on my complexion and my skin tone but nonetheless once again I have it so I do want to kind of try to use the shades that I do enjoy um, while they're still good and they're still here for me to use. Okay, so this last drawer is the biggest drawer and it houses pretty much all of my cheek products ranging from cream to powder, bronzer, all the way to highlighter. So let's dive into this and then we are good to go. Alright, so this is a discontinued highlighter. This is a collaboration between Dose of Colors and I Love Sarai. Um, I really like this. It's a beautiful formula and because I enjoyed this one, I then picked up the collaboration that they did between Desi and Katie. Absolutely love both of these formulas. If I had to choose, I would say get this one, but they're both long discontinued. No need to pick them up. I also did pick up this MAC one. This is a long time discontinued during a holiday. I really love this. This is one of my favorite multi-chrome glittery highlighters. I also have this Pixie by Petra Duo. The darker sh shade is of course the shade that really works for me. The other shade doesn't. Um, and I just preferred this duo for this shade over the other duo for, for that duo's darkest shade. And then my last highlighter is of course my one size um, Fantasia highlighter. So these are all in my top drawer. Um, yeah. The one cream that I have is from ABH. Of course, this is in the shade Hazelnut. This is my favorite cream bronzer. So, of course, this is up here. I also went ahead and put in here my Tower 28 bronzer that I kept. This is in the darkest shade in their shimmer formulation. As of right now, when I'm recording, I do not have their matte formula, but who knows? I may go ahead and scoop it up. There's still a couple of days left of the Sephora sale. So there is that. And then yet another powder bronzer in this um, compartment or organization, and this is the one from Morphe. So yeah, those are the bronzers that I have completely in this compartment. Once again, sometimes things get taken out while I'm doing videos and I just don't put them in um, in a timely fashion. So some of the stuff that I may have in some of these other compartments may just be in baskets um, because I finished using them for recent videos. I have quite a few cream cheek products. I have this make um, Maybelline Cheek Heat. I haven't really gotten a lot of use out of it so that's why it's in here. I have a favorite from Huda Beauty so I'm really really loving this as I said I was um, and I can't wait to get the second one on the best possible discount. I also have this Dominique Cosmetics one which upon further inspection actually isn't as bad as I thought it was especially now that it is kind of started to dry out and so there's more pigment when I apply it. And right along in those same terms is this Tower 28 cream blush. Once again, I told you guys, once they started to dry out, I felt like they applied a little bit more pigmented on my skin tone. So I'm very excited to get even more use out of these. Although this out of all of them was the one that I got the most use out of. Okay, now I only have powder formulations left. This is one of my favorite formulas from MAC and this is their like mineralized skin finish um, and this is one of the blushes in that range. Absolutely love that. 
I also have another more shimmery blush from MAC. Absolutely love this. This is more of a blush topper though. I don't um, use this as just a blush by itself anymore. I'm not as bold <laughs> in that application. I have two of the older formulations of House Labs blushes. Definitely would say if you did not get this, don't sweat it. If you're of a lighter complexion, these actually are probably better for you because they're not nearly as pigmented as her current um, version. But for me and my complexion, these just, you know, they're not hitting it. But I try to keep things in my collection and find uses out of them. So that's the main purpose for it being here. Plus a lighter pigmented blush actually works out better for a more natural kind of everyday seamless kind of appearance. So that's why those are there. And then the last single blush that I have um, is this Nabla blush. Absolutely love it. It gives you a more skin-like radiant finish. Um, and that's what I really look for when it comes to the more summer months. Okay, so I just had two more palettes to talk about. These were both in my face bottom drawer as well. This is the Natasha Denona My Dream Trio. And when I reviewed this, I stand by my review that these shades don't work on somebody of my complexion. That said, I have it and I want to get more use out of it. So I am putting it up here to kind of force myself to find applications in which it will be useful. So that's the reason why I have it up here instead of having just went ahead and decluttering it. And then the other face palette that I have is once again another Natasha Denona and this is her Bloom. I think this is absolutely beautiful and it really does work on deeper complexions. So highly recommend this one. So yeah, this is kind of my everyday top drawer collage of items that I reach for on a whatever regular basis when I'm ready to do makeup. If let's say I don't have the time to kind of film a face look and film whatever other video in addition, I will just reach for these items quickly, put on some makeup and then film the video. Or even if I'm hanging out with friends and I wanna put on makeup, this is the collection of items that I tend to reach for. Um, like I said, all throughout this video, I will have more descriptive information for all of these items that I've mentioned down below including the shade and a link if I can find a link. Some of these are no longer available um, but whatever is available I will have it linked down below for you all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one which hopefully will be very soon. Alrighty guys, bye.